Now we talk about how packets are being routed or switched between multiple networks with the help of a router. So router has a switching function that forwards a packet which it has received on its incoming interface to the outgoing interface in order to, re to reach to the destination. This is a typical uh, network diagram. So you have a PC1 and PC2. And between the two source and destination or two ends of the, of the sender and receiver, there are three routers which are, you know, um, between the paths of PC1 and PC2. So uh, the PC1 has all the seven layers and routers, as uh, you know, we know, they only uh, work up to uh, layer three. So when a router receives a packet from PC1, it basically, you know, finds out the, the information uh, about where to send the packet. And then it switches the packet to a particular output interface. So now let's basically, you know, uh, see how a router basically performs the switching. So let's look into an example. So PC1 sends a packet to PC2. Because PC2 is on a different network, I will encapsulate the packet and send it to the router on my network. So for that, I need to find out the MAC address of the router. So as you can see from the figure, this is a particular uh, IP uh, packet, which has, uh, you know, the source IP, the destination IP, and also it is uh, encapsulated in a, in a, in a link uh, layer frame, which has the destination MAC address, the source MAC address. And PC1 has an ARP cache for R1, which means this, this ARP cache is basically, you know, is, is a table, uh, which is a mapping from IP address to the MAC address. So if I know the IP address of, of the router, I can find out the MAC address by looking into the ARP table or the ARP cache. Okay, so what happens when R1 forwards the packet to uh, PC2? So before that, R1 receives the packet uh, from, uh, from PC1, okay, and uh, it basically finds out the MAC address, and now it's going to investigate what it has to do with it. So from the type field and the destination IP address, the router is going to find out that this packet needs to be forwarded, and this packet is not part of my network. Okay. So now router has to basically figure out or find out to which output interface the router has to give the packet that it has received. And for that, it has to look up into its uh, routing table. And by looking, by looking it up in the routing table, the R1 is going to find out the interface uh, that is, that, you know, will take me to PC2, which is FA zero slash one which is the exit interface and now after knowing the interface the router is going to rebuild the information or rebuild the frame by plugging in the information that is required in the frame okay so now it has to send the uh, the packet to r2 and for that r1 needs the arp table that basically tells me the mac address that pc2 uses so the R1 ARP cache has this entry that for this IP address, this is the MAC address. And now R1 is going to create a frame by putting the destination MAC address that it has found from the ARP table or the ARP cache. And now the frame is ready to be sent out by my FA01 interface. Now comes the packet routing. So now R2 forwards the packet to R3. So R2, when it receives the packet, it receives a frame by the MAC address, which is the MAC address of R2. And now it's going to investigate what it has to do with that frame. So it will look into the IP or the payload field of the frame and, and basically extract the IP packet from that payload. And it, it basically finds out that the type and the destination IP address is not uh, basically, you know, uh, my network address. So I have to forward or route that packet to the concerned uh, network, which has this destination network address. For that, I will also, I will have to look into the, my routing table 
by looking into the routing uh, table i found out that i have a route uh, which is basically you know uh, via my serial interface as 0 slash 0 slash 0 to reach to uh, pc2 okay and since now i have found out the interface so let me rebuild the information in the frame i'm going to have to uh, basically put this information the packet is being sent over a serial connection therefore i must use a layer 2 broadcast destination address and by serial we mean point to point uh, connection so this is a point to point serial connection so no source address is required so when the packet finally reaches to the destination which is pc2 the pc2 is going to receive the packet at its mac address and it will say you know i'm going to process it and upon finding out the ip address which will be matched with the pc2 ip address so the pc2 is going to say i don't have to forward it and it's going to be it is my my packet that is uh, destined for for uh, me so we uh, studied how packets are routed among different networks with the help of a router so every router receives a frame that frame has a mac address and it's going to be the router's MAC address. So the router is going to find out the IP address, the destination IP address uh, from the IP packet that is uh, encapsulated in the frame that it has received. And it's going to find out whether the packet, the destination IP address in the packet is of the host or the machine, which is part of my network. If it is part of my network, I have to forward it uh, to the concerned host by looking it into my ARP cache, which is, uh, you know, a table uh, uh, of mapping from IP address to MAC address. And it's going to rebuild the frame and then going to, you know, forward the packet or the frame uh, to the output interface.